Hey there everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Now, today I thought I would bring a video to discuss the topic of escalation training. Escalation training is a method that I've used to overcome many plateaus, much like the deprivation training. If you haven't seen any of my videos on the deprivation training, I'll leave a little image that you can click on at the end of the video. But basically, when you combine both of these together, you'll increase your chances of overcoming difficult obstacles. Now, I suppose without further wait, let's get into exactly what escalation training is. So escalation training is a method that I use, and what it is is when you're having trouble with something, say a parallel quest, story mission, fighting a friend, whatever it might be, try to find something that will challenge you and push you farther than you would ever imagine uh, being able to do. Something that you almost know you're probably not going to win at, because when you do something that's, say, twice as hard, three times as hard, or ten times as hard as the thing that you've been trying to do and have been failing at, then you're going to get used to sort of that faster pace. Uh, when I would train in sleight of hand sometimes, what I would do is I would practice a lot faster, and it would help me get the simple moves down easier. These big fancy, you know, five packet cuts are things that I would never really use for performance, but I would use them because they're far more difficult than, say, some of the moves that I would use. Because, essentially, it just makes it kind of feel easier. By taking on a more difficult challenge, you can definitely sort of lower the depth of the difficulty of what you're struggling with right now. So in this game, when I was having some trouble with some uh, PQs, with some expert missions, one thing I started doing was I went back to my deprivation training and just made it much more difficult. So they kind of go hand in hand because what I would do is I would start taking on parallel quests by myself with no NPCs or anything. And even more difficult, I would try doing it while restricting myself even further by not allowing myself to sort of regenerate key or stamina or without using any capsules. And by trying something that was far more difficult than what I was trying to get past, it allowed me to do that more easily. And so yeah, that's basically it. That's the tip of the video. Um, escalation training, just trying something more difficult. Uh, and of course, there's also the opposite of escalation training, which is just going down. Both have sort of their own benefits. If you try something more difficult than what you're trying to get past, it's going to make it seem easier. But if you try something that's a little easier, um, maybe you've failed many times at it, and try something easier maybe to build up your confidence, and then actually combine the two, and then try something hard after trying something easy, and hopefully, you know, between that gap you can find what it takes to be able to do whatever it is you might be stuck on, be it story mission, parallel quest, expert mission. Um, I, I get stuck on the expert missions pretty bad. I finally uh, finish them all, but I am far from good enough to be able to finish them all with a Z rank as of yet, but someday. <laughs> so I encourage you, whenever you want to practice, try doing things that are far more difficult than what you want to do, because in that discomfort, you're going to grow. If you sort of, you know, keep a steady pace, you know, that's fine, but sometimes you get stuck, and I hope this can be the solution for you to get unstuck, if that makes any sense. So, I suppose, um, thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful and maybe even a little bit entertaining. The gameplay in the background was just uh, me and my friend going through a parallel quest because I've done the thing like 20 freaking times and I still haven't gotten Hero's Flute. <laughs> So uh, that's a barrier that I need to overcome. So I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.